All right, so you just built yourself a brand new PC and now you wanna track all of your stats. So you wanna track your frame rate, your CPU temperature, your GPU temperature, and all that good stuff. Well, today that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you guys how I set up MSI Afterburner Reva Tuner and Capframe X so that I can track those statistics. Now, Capframe X is not necessary. I use it for my benchmarking because it's a lot easier to use. MSI Afterburner can do all of the things that Capframe X can do, except it's just not as uh, self-explanatory in my opinion. So it's really up to you if you want to have Capframe X or if you want to have MSI Afterburner. Again, it's really up to you. I usually use MSI Afterburner specifically for GPU overclocking. I don't use it for, uh, you know, kind of tracking anything at all all when it comes to statistics so I can monitor in game. All right, so without wasting any more time, let's jump into my computer and I'll show you how to get this set up. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead and go to Google or wherever you want to do your search and type in search, uh, MSI Afterburner. That's the first thing we're going to install. MSI Afterburner's installer has both MSI Afterburner and Reva Tuner. You can download Reva Tuner by itself, but it's just not as easy, I guess. But anyway, go to MSI.com, the Afterburner page, and you're gonna to scroll to the very, 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 very bottom until you see this, okay? You can, you can download the beta version if you want, but I always like to download the most stable version. So hit download, hit save into whatever folder you want to save it. I'm not saving it to my, I'm saving it to my download folder, of course. Next, we're gonna download CapFrame X. Go to type CapFrame X. Go to their web page, which is right here. And then you're gonna hit the download link, which is right here. And then I always in, uh, download the installer. So click on the installer, hit save, and now we install that. If you want to download Reva Tuner standalone, you just go to Reva Tuner, type in that up here, whoop, and then go to the second one. It's Guru 3D RTS, blah, blah, blah. And I recommend downloading it with the MSI Afterburner. Just run the, the you know, the Afterburner installation, like I'll show you in a second, and then delete MSI Afterburner afterwards if you want to. But if you don't, you just go into this page right here, scroll to the very bottom, and you can just download um, the latest build, which is, this is 7.2.3 as of recording this video, which is the recommended one. So it's going to pop up, RTSS, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So click OK, and then you have your tuner by itself. What we're going to do now is go to the, the downloads folder right here, and we're going to extract everything. So click on one, hit compress folder, extract all, hit extract. It's going to extract it right there. Okay, so now we have all three of them extracted, and then all you have to do is we're gonna, we're gonna install MSI Afterburner first, then we'll install Capframe X. Change language to whatever language you want, hit okay. Go ahead, this is gonna pop up, hit next, accept the terms, read through them. Okay, and then again, Reva Tuner statistics server for the on-screen display, you need it. So hit, make sure you have that checked, hit next, hit next. You can not create a shortcut if you don't want to, but I'm going to. You know, let it go through and install. And then at the end of this installation, Reva Tuner is going to pop up. So hold on. Now it's running the Reva Tuner. On my screen, it pops up on my other screen. This is going to pop up. It's going to be the exact same process as before for MSI Afterburner. Hit next, accept, next, next, install. And then when this is done, we're going to close out of it. Hit finish, show. We don't want to run it right now. Okay, hit finish. So now MSI Afterburner and Reva Tuner is installed. Go back to your downloads folder. Let's go to CapFrame X, double click it. Now CapFrame X is not, um, it has an unknown publisher. So Windows is going to say, hey, watch out. This might be a bad, you know, it might be a bad program. So it, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Just hit run anyway. Make sure you go through, if you can read through the terms, if you'd like, um, agree to them. It, I always recommend checking out the options. So you can change your install location here. You wanna make sure any program that you're installing does not include bloatware. So make sure you always check like the advanced options so you don't get the bloatware if they are, you know, some programs do include them, even good programs. Anyway, change your install location if you want, hit okay and hit install. It's gonna pop up with another one saying, are you sure you want to install this? Yeah, hit yes. Install, successful. Okay, close out of that, close out of that. We're gonna close out of this as well. I'm gonna move over MSI Afterburner and I'm gonna move over CapFrame X. Now, with both of these programs, when you open them and have the on-screen display on, Reva Tuner is gonna automatically turn on too. So you're not gonna have to worry about like actually starting these programs. Before we do anything though, I'm gonna open Enter the Gungeon just to show you guys what this is gonna end up looking like, okay? All right, so this is Enter the Gungeon. It's an easy game to open, that's why I'm using it. We're gonna prepare MSI Afterburner first. So go ahead and open up MSI Afterburner. It's gonna ask you if you wanna just accept it. 
All right, and this is what it is. So the first step of MSI Afterburner is gonna go into your settings. You can go ahead and check start with Windows and start minimize. This way, whenever you turn your computer on, it's gonna be running in the background. You don't have to worry about opening it up every single time you wanna follow and check your statistics. Hit apply. Then you wanna go over to on-screen display. I always set the toggle to F12. Basically what this means is that if you hit F12, you'll see, I'll show you in a minute, but basically when you have, uh, if you don't wanna see that anymore, you can just hit F12, it'll turn it off. You won't visually see it. Then you can go over to the very last one, the uh, profile and the user interface. And then you can change this to whatever you want. I typically change it to Mystic just because I like the look of it more. You don't have to change it if you don't want to, but you can. And the last thing we wanna do is actually set up the on-screen display. So go head on over to monitoring and any of these that you want to track, you wanna make sure they are checked. So if we wanna track frame rate, we're gonna click on that. If we're gonna to wanna to check um, average frame rate and 1% lows, 0.1% lows, make sure they are all checked. Anything you don't want to record or track, just uncheck. So we don't want this, we don't want this, this. So I'm gonna go, go through this real quick. I'm gonna uncheck all the ones I don't care for. All right, so I went ahead and I checked all the ones that I wanted and I wanted to, to to track and then what you got to go through is on every single one that you want as well you're going to want to go ahead and hit this show in on screen display and it's and when i hit apply you're going to see it's going to pop up right here in enter gungeon as we just saw so gpu 44c now if you want to change the group names you can click on this override group name right here you change it to whatever you want you can do, you can put rtx 2060 if you want boom and it says rtx 2060 or whatever it might be now, keep in mind, if you want to do that, you got to make sure um, all those same statistics, so like this GPU usage right here too, if I want to have that on, I have to make sure that the group names are the same or they're going to separate them into different groups. If you want to change the colors, all you have to do is hit the, um, the triple dots and then you can change the colors right here. So if we want this to be red, for example, hit OK, hit, hit a boom, that changes to be red. And that's how you set up MSI Afterburner. Again, just choose whichever ones you want and you can go ahead and um check them all boom 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 and they're all going to pop up at, accordingly again you can group them however you want and you can make them work basically to what you want and if you at any point don't want them to be showing up anymore you can just hit f12 and it will vanish now let's go ahead and open reva tuner because i want to show you how to change the font and size of the on-screen display and this is also for cap frame x as well so go ahead and open up reva tuner like i said before it'll automatically open up if you have your on-screen display turned on It'll be in your dashboard or your uh, taskbar. And then if you want to change the size, um, all you have to do is this. So you change it, you can see how big that got, you change it to be smaller. That's how small it is, whatever it might be, depending on your resolution, you're gonna want it bigger or smaller. Higher resolution screens will, you know, again, it'll make it look smaller based on that. If you want to change the font, you're gonna hit this down arrow right here, and then you can change it to whatever you want, hit okay, and it'll change the font as well. If you want to change the location of where it is, all you have to do is you can press this corner to change which corner it's in, you can press this corner to change the corner, you can do kind of all that stuff, or you can even just offset it just by pressing these little arrows one way or another. Now, you used to also be able to change color through Weaver Tuner. They totally, they changed that recently through MSI Afterburner, so like this color feature right here is useless nowadays. Uh, you don't need to use it at all unless you change some stuff in MSI Afterburner. I'm not going to show you guys how to do that because it's not really uh, the MSI Afterburner gives you more control over what colors it is. So I prefer to use that way. So now that we have Reva Tuner set up. We have MSI Afterburner set up. We can now set up Cap Frame X if you know if Cap Frame X is something that you're interested in. That's another option of tracking your your stats. It's my preferred way of tracking stats because it's a lot easier to benchmark and it looks a lot cleaner. It looks a lot nicer. So in order to do that, we have to make sure we either one if you're going to be using MSI Afterburner for an overclocking um, utility like I use, you have to make sure that um, these are all turned off and show on the screen. Display is off on all of them or else you'll have conflict in game. We don't want that. We don't want to have two over uh, on screen displays. We want it to be just one. So it's a lot cleaner, right? But you're going to have to go ahead and click off all these or you're going to have to make sure that MSI Afterburner is closed. If you're not going to use it for a overclocking utility, just make sure it's closed. So I'm gonna go ahead and click close. You can see it vanished right there. And then we're gonna open Cap Frame X. Now Cap Frame X is a lot easier to set up, even though MSI Afterburner is pretty easy to set up. And it has a lot more features in my opinion than uh, Afterburner. It's just my preferred program. It's just really nice for um, more for benchmarking than anything else, but it's also really nice 
for statistics. You can see right now they just popped up. So on the first page, I'm gonna get more into this next week in, in my tutorial on how I benchmark my systems and how you guys can to make sure you guys are getting the best performance. For capturing, I always use the F8 key. Um, you, can, you can change it to whatever you want, but whenever I wanna capture or record or benchmark, F8 is the key. And then you go over to um, overlays. For overlays, I always use F12, like I showed you before. So you can hit F12, it'll turn it on or off just as you can see right now, we're toggling it. And then in here, this is the same exact thing I just showed you on um, MSI Afterburner, but instead it's on this. So if you don't want the, the uh, capture service status, so whether it's capturing or not, you can uncheck that if you want the capture timer. So if you're actually capturing stuff, you hit F8, you can, um, it'll show you like a timer. I'll show you real quick. So you can see the timer right now. So we're gonna turn that off. You can turn that off if you don't like it. You can go through frame rate, frame time. If you want a graph for any of them, you can check for the graph. I think those are really, really nice and useful to just kind of see like how your system is running. See if you're having big hangups during certain scenes or like, you know, certain parts of the game. So there's that, you, but you can, again, it's the same exact thing. You just go through, check whatever you want and you can actually organize these. So you can move them around as you, you see fit. So if you want your CPU to be at the top, you can move to the top. If you want, you know, your frames at the top, you can move that to the top, whatever you want, you can customize. And it's really like you, there's a lot you can do with it. Whatever program you decide to use is your choice. You get to choose which one you want. And that's the awesome part about it. You know, there's MSI Afterburner, which a lot of people use and they still use. Um, and it's probably the most common one. And then you have like, you know, you have fraps and then you have something like CapFrame X, which is a, this is more for like a benchmarking utility for someone like me who, uh, benchmarks a lot of different hardware if you guys found value for this video if you found the value for this tutorial please give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more tech content just like this i'll make sure that there are like other tutorials that are going to be popping up on the screen right now so you guys can go check out the other tutorials i've done and i'll be doing new tutorials every single tuesday here and out so if you guys have any tutorials that you guys would like me to make let me know in the comments below and i'll add it to the list of tutorials that i plan on doing here in the near future thank you guys so much for tuning in and i can't wait to see you guys next time.